Hi, my name is Marta from The Coding Blonde, and today we're going to talk about stereotypes. This is the second video about girls in tech, and today we're going to talk about stereotypes and what it's like to be a girl in tech. I would call myself a nerd. <laughs> um, I'd definitely have to say maybe just a little bit. Um, I would not know. Um, the definition of a nerd is somebody who is socially inept, and I would not, you know, consider myself to be, you know, socially awkward. Maybe sometimes, but not most of the time. Would I call myself a nerd? Well, yes, but I like to call myself the chic geek. So super chic, but super geeky. I love incorporating fashion and different colors into my blog that talks about technology. I think that it's something that kind of explains who I am. When everyone knows me, they know me as like the really geeky girl, but that has really great style. I think that geeky does no longer have a bad connotation. It's a good thing. Everyone wants to be that smart girl, that geek in class. So I decided to actually look up the definition of a nerd because I felt like a loaded word for me. So we are going to base this on the Merriam-Webster's definition of nerd for English language learners. And there's actually two definitions that they give. The first one is a person who behaves awkwardly around other people and usually has unstylish clothes, hair, etc. And the second definition is a person who is very interested in technical subjects, computers, etc. So do I consider myself a nerd? Based on the first definition of Merriam-Webster's definition of a nerd, I would say no, I don't. I don't think I behave awkwardly. I hope I don't run other people and, and I like to think I don't have unstylish clothes and hair so that's just how I perceive myself. In terms of the second definition which is a person who is very interested in technical subjects, computers, etc. Yes, I very much so identify as a nerd based on that definition. I would call myself very, very nerdy actually. So I guess it just depends on the definition that you're using. Oh my goodness. I, okay so the stereotypically girly things that I love doing are coding. <laughs> Got you there, didn't I? I love coding. I love makeup. I love women's rights. I do love makeup. I'm not wearing any right now, but, but I, I promise I love it. I love lip gloss, as you can see, and I probably put it on way too much. And I genuinely enjoy painting my fingernails and my toes. I definitely have to say that I love getting my hair and nails done and I love doing my makeup. I really like to paint my nails. I just think it looks good when you write on the keyboard. <laughs> like the color pops up and I really like that. So that's the girly thing I do. I'd say the probably girliest thing about myself is being a cheerleader for over 10 years. I started when I was 10 years old and I even went to an exchange year to America when I was 15 years old just to attend an American cheer team. And this plan actually worked out. Um, I got to cheer at Showville Varsity cheer team and we even got the chance to perform at the halftime show of the Junior Bowl in 2010. Um, so I think being a cheerleader is actually the girliest thing about myself. What I do regularly is using lipstick, actually every day. And the first answer to that would be wearing lipstick wearing it now and then I get manicures and massages every once in a while after work to treat myself. I think me and my whole team are actually going to do it soon too. It's really good for your neck and we're all staring at computer screens all day so it's a really nice kind of way to treat yourself after a long day of work. I'm going to assume those stereotypes are meant, you know, since it's a male dominated industry. Um, I was very blessed to have my mentor be a woman and I got to work with her and so she kind of cleared the path for me and I just learned that you really have to stand your ground and just be very respectful because when you're respectful to others, they'll be respectful to you. I'm all about empowering myself. I don't believe in stereotypes and I don't allow myself to feed into it. My mission is at Tech Sesh is to really be someone who empowers other people. We're not here to pity each other, so we don't even talk about that. We're past that. We're all about onto the next, onto the next boss thing that we can do together. I think the hardest part about being in an industry, any really industry that has stereotypes around it, is especially when you're part of that stereotype, like for example, a woman in tech, is the fact that whatever you do, you're not the one responsible for it. It's sort of like you speak for your gender, whatever you do. So all my failures and all of my successes or all of my opinions won't be attributed to me as a person, they'll be attributed to me as part of a gender representing 50% of the population of the world. And I think that's kind of the hardest part 
part of the pressure that you experience whenever you do anything? So my answer to that is no. I, and just to like follow up on that, I work at a company with a really positive work culture. And so I feel personally in my day-to-day -day life that I am not constrained by a stereotype in any way. And I guess what the message that I would send out to other people is, is that if you do feel like that, that you should know that there are companies and work cultures out there where you're not constrained by stereotypes and so you should pursue that and you shouldn't be, you know, like don't settle for a place where you feel that way. And my second follow-up point to that would be for people who are looking to enter the tech industry, um, I think it's important for you to know that here is a person who doesn't feel constrained by stereotypes and that's not you know, there are plenty of work cultures out there where that's not the case. So don't be afraid of that being a reality in tech. And I really feel like I'm in a positive work culture where I'm challenging myself and being supported, so. Unfortunately, being a minority in this industry, it is at times difficult to work with any individuals who may have any assumptions about your skill level or any preconceived notions about you just because of the way you look. So no, I don't find it difficult. I think here in Montreal, in Canada, I'm really lucky to work here. I never encountered big problems, nothing really serious. I, I can sleep at night, so that's really good. And I look forward to breaking stereotypes. I can prove them wrong. That's my state of mind, if that makes sense. No, well, you can get used to stereotypes, but I think it's hard if you are not quite the stereotypes, like probably most women in this industry are. Honestly, I find it hard to not be taken serious from the first day on. And other than my male colleagues, I feel like I always have to prove my coding skills first because before they take me serious. And this really sucks. Like once um, my former boss even told me how surprised he is that I'm able to accomplish all these difficult tasks and that he didn't expect that when he was hiring me. I think this is so offensive. This is sucks to be treated like this. This is not so nice. But on the other hand, um, I love how there is this community for girls in tech that support each other and I think we can actually change this stereotype and make it more girly maybe. I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss the next video where the girls will give you tips on how to learn how to code and to follow Laura, Jessica, Brandy, Michaela, Julia, Marie, and Olga. You can find all the links to their profiles and their blogs in the description. Leave a comment, tell me about what you found the most inspirational, tell me about your experience in the industry. And of course, if you'd like to be featured in one of these videos, please let me know in the comments, via email, or via Instagram. I would love to hear your story. Bye.